What's going on YouTube land? It's your boy Drezon, the founder and owner of Drezon Nation. We do teach uh, felons and prohibited people how to carry black powder revolvers outside of their house. However, this one's going to be a little different because in the state of Texas, we have what is called Castle Doctrine. Okay, We are allowed to protect ourselves inside of our house and our property. We are only allowed to protect our property at nighttime, but if they are in our domain, our docile, if you will, in our house, we are allowed to protect that at all times. So. Because I'm not a felon, I am under different rules, okay? So, my wife is an LTC carrier, so she has an actual license to carry. Uh, she carries firearms. She has firearms. Just keep in mind, I am in no way in possession of any firearms at this time. But because I am not a felon, I'm also under a lot of different things that are not as severe. So, what my wife is going to do, Mrs. Drizo over here. By the way, how are you doing, honey? I'm good. Tired. Good. Tired. Good and tired. She's going to show you what she carries. And just so you know, guys, if you are a felon or you are prohibited in the state of Texas, um, if you are in intimate danger, immediate danger of your life or great bodily harm, you are actually allowed to pick up a firearm and use it to stop that threat. There is nothing breaking the law there. Most states have that. Um, I would strongly advise you not to do that in California and New York because, let's face it, even if you're trying to defend yourself in those states, uh, you're in the wrong. <coughs> California, exactly. See, she gets it. Uh, you, you can't defend yourself there. But um, so basically, um, so you have your license to carry, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you have that you carry each and every day? It would be my Taurus G2C. Taurus G2C. With a clip and not a holster because I hate holsters okay could you show them that so she has a Taurus G2C and she uses a clip which is right there okay and now your preference okay because keep in mind you this is preference to how you carry okay so why do you like the clip versus the versus a, a Kyrodex holster or a soft holster they they're too big and bulky with what I have all my everyday it's just too much to worry about. The clip is on here. It's ready to go. It goes on my jeans. Easy. Boom. Done. It's just ease of use. Yes. And it's comfortable. It doesn't add, like, it doesn't bother me carrying it in my jeans. I feel like a, col a holster would add more and be more bulky and more annoying. I mean, I sometimes forget that it's there. Like, I know that yeah. it's there, but, you know, it's not a constant harassment. Right. Okay. And so, why do you like the Taurus GTC, why do you like carrying that? Uh, it fits my hand well. It doesn't have a horrible kick. Mm -hmm. um, it's just smooth for me. It's, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's the right size more than anything. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's just manageable versus other things. It's like compared to like the size of my hand. Most guns are too big. Like it, it feels too wide. It's not, I don't know. It's just not as comfortable. Like a slimmer fit for you. You yeah. feel like you can get a better grip overall and control. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you also have what is considered your table side home defense gun. We'll say that. And uh, your your table side home defense gun, what what do you have? It's the Glock 30, mm. right? Yes. With And it's 45. 45 ACP. ACP. Yep. I always want to call it something different because they don't make sense. No, they don't. They really don't, guys. And and you guys should know that like like Glock has has stamped their calibers not by the calibers. They have stamped them by their when they patent released it. when they released it and their patent numbers. Um, so so your table side is a Glock 30. Go ahead and show them that. So this is the Glock 30. This is in 45 ACP and that is a 10 plus one. Um, and the reason that is for home defense is because of more stopping power, I believe. more stopping power. That's right. Um, the Glock 30 has way more stopping power than a nine millimeter. Uh, you, you guys have seen on the news. You've even watched, um, video footage of police officers shooting, you know, guys eight, nine times with a nine millimeter and they're still charging forward. Um, anytime someone has used a 45 ACP, uh, it's one, two shots, and I mean, they're done. Um, and so that is for uh, your table side gun. Keep in mind, I'm in no way in possession of these, but 
I do have Castle Doctrine inside of the state of Texas, so I am legally allowed to be around firearms in my home. Um, and you went with these uh, for some different reasons than what most people would go with for firearms. So the 45, when we were talking about it, you went with it for a specific reason. And it wasn't for like, oh, you know, this is the best stopping power or we should have this or, you know, whatever, right? You went with it because of your grandfather and how much ammo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. We, my grandfather did a competition shooting of some sort. Mm -hmm. and he owned a lot of guns. Yeah. And, and left a lot of ammo. Gave the guns to, anyway. That's a long story, but we ended up with a ton of ammo, and yep. it was like, okay, what's the point of having ammo for some when we don't have something that it works in? Mm. It's not worth it to like selling the ammo, buying the gun that works with the ammo, buying the gun. Now we have the whole exactly, um, and and I think that we we talked about that, and and for you, you know, having a firearm that takes you know the ammo and with the amount of ammo that we have for it. <laughs> Um, really works out the best, uh, for us. Um, and keep in mind, you guys, once again, this is in the state of Texas. So we, we have castle doctrine. Um, I am allowed to be around firearms in my house, outside of my house, another question, but an immediate threat and danger, I'm allowed to use a firearm for my protection. That being said, guys, I always will teach you the black powder way. Um, I just want to let you know that you do have options. Uh, if you are in the state of Texas and your wife is not uh, prohibited by the federal government, um, I would recommend going that route. Um, your wife can, in fact, you know, carry. She can be around you. And this is for the modern day person, okay? I want you to understand that. If you're a cartel or you're a drug dealer or you're involved in some kind of criminal activities, I'm not supporting you in any way. All right. I, I'm, I'm saying for somebody who either made a mistake, got wrongly accused or whatever, right? And you've paid your debts and you're trying to live your best life. Um, you still have the right to defend yourself. And, and in Texas, we have those laws. Um, my wife carries. She has these firearms. She probably has many more. I don't know. I'm not in possession of any of them. But in my household, I am allowed to be around firearms. Um, and to show you guys that this is a big thing that I wanted to bring to you um, because, you know, for me, it's, it's people think that all you're allowed to have in your house in Texas is black powder. But that's not the case. You know, if, you're, if your wife or your daughter or son is of age and is allowed to purchase firearms, um, they're allowed to have them in the house. Now, if you're a felon, it is a little different, and I'll explain this. Um, you're not, to, you're not allowed to be within any knowledgeable possession of a firearm, which means that these guns are supposed to be locked in a safe that you have no access to. Does it matter what kind of safe? No, it doesn't matter what kind of safe so it is. fingerprint. It, yeah, fingerprint, you know, dial, uh, dial, number lock, whatever, right? So you, you have to be within that aspect. Now, there are... There are many reports, and there's many stories, as a matter of fact, about police officers that, you know, probation check, right? Um, they come through, do a check. Oh, there's a safe here. What's in the safe? Guns. Okay. Are they your guns? No. They're my wife's or my, you know, daughter's or my son's. My roommates. My roommates, right? There has been cases, believe it or not, where the police have literally gone through and like dusted for fingerprints on the front of the safe and on the inside of the safe to see if you've ever touched it. Okay. It is up to the discretion of the local police officers. Now, the great thing that we have is we have the Bruin standard now, which is the, the history text tradition. You have to have a test and of what happened between 1791 and 1826, right? You, you, none of these laws hold water, okay? But keep in mind, you, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. I, I want to remind you that I am not a lawyer. I am not um, in any way, shape, or form trying to give you legal advice. I'm trying to tell you what I do, what I know. I've spoken with police officers. I've spoken with lawyers. Um, I have people who have had direct letters from the ATF. Um, there are, you're not going to be bothered. If you are living your life as a day-to-day -day citizen, okay, you're not drug dealing. 
you're not committing robberies, you're not committing theft, you're not, you know, doing all this crap. You're just living your life like I am. No one is going to mess with you, okay? No one is going to bother you. So in doing this, do not fear for your life because we, we've had a subscriber uh, a couple months ago that told us that he found out after 10 years he was prohibited and he gave all his guns away to his son because his son didn't live with him. He was worried about it. And I said, you, you could just give them to your wife because you're, you're not in possession. And in, in Texas, you have castle doctrine after five years, regardless of your charge, even if it's a felony. You have castle doctrine and initially given to you. And you can, in fact, own, okay, that's the key word, you can own and possess a firearm in your house. Yes, according to the federal government, you're still prohibited. But if the ATF is going after someone who committed a felony, okay, 20, 25 years ago, and has done nothing wrong since then, and simply his wife has a gun in the house to protect them, I mean... We, we have bigger problems at that point, okay? We have Gestapo era things because you're doing nothing. And with the new Bruin standard, if someone were to do that to you, keep in mind you, it's not going to hold water. Um, I've told you guys a thousand times for all the new people, um, I have a lot of connects in different areas of uh, government, police departments, stuff like that. And they've had direct contact with the FBI. And one guy's actually prohibited federally, but not prohibited uh, locally or at the state level. And the FBI knows he carries, and they're like, we're never going to come after you. Because that, that specific charge is only for people we're trying to get that are really bad people. Drug dealers, kidnappers, cartel, gang members, that kind of stuff, right? Kind of like the Al Capone where they like... We want to get you for this, and we can't. We can get you for that over there. Exactly. No, that's the exact. That's the exact reason why these laws are still in place, guys. You know that the Laudenberg Law is unconstitutional. It's only been around since 1997. Um, the felons, you know, GCA Act of 1968. It's unconstitutional at its face. That's why they left black powder revolvers in for us, um, so they couldn't totally infringe completely. But they've still infringed. Um, so, if you're in the state of Texas, I, I want to let you know that look. My wife is an LTC holder. So she's gone through federal background checks, okay? She's had to send her fingerprints, okay? Cool. She's had to go through qualifying tests, and they did not stop her. They know she's married to me, okay? They, they, they know for a fact that my wife is married to me. They know my background. I guarantee they looked it up, and I am not a concern to the government, okay? I am not a cartel member. I am not a gang member. I am not causing problems. I am not stealing stuff. Like, I'm not out committing crimes. I do not carry a firearm. I carry black powder. In the state of Texas, you have castle doctrine. Um, you are allowed to protect yourself by whatever means necessary inside of your house. And when you are outside of your house, you do, in fact, have the legal right to protect yourself by whatever means necessary. So, say, for example, my wife is carrying her G2C and she's carrying her Glock. If for some reason we are in great imminent threat of our life or great bodily injury, I am actually allowed to grab one of those firearms and stop the threat. That's how it goes. Um, and I would, not, I would not tell you guys that because I don't want to put my wife in harm's way. Okay, I, My wife is, is not going to go to jail for doing that. Um, because I am choosing to make an action to stop an action. Um, you guys can look all this up. This is in the Texas Penal Code. This is in the federal ATF government code. Um, if you have any questions or concerns uh, for me or Ms. Drizo, please don't hesitate to comment. Reach out to us. Uh, we try to answer everything. I do know that we have one person who has asked where we get our, our belly bands from because they really liked uh, what those oh. are. So if you know what that is right now, we can actually give that to them right now. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm going to have to go back and look. Those took forever. To get. They took forever to get here, but golly, like they are super comfortable for me. Uh, she hasn't used it yet because, like I said, she's got the clip, so she's fine. Um, but Yeah, but I said I was going to look at, at switching, like at least as, as an option. As an because option. Because it's more, I think in some ways it'll be easier for certain things. Absolutely. And if anything, we can switch the clip around for you so it clips onto the belly band on your right side. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. All right, guys. 
Well, that's all we have for you today. I just want to give you some advice on this stuff. And as always, guys, I love you. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.